hands to receive the blessing. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Doors open. Amen. Koinonia receive it. Doors open. Amen. Every nation that has rejected you. Not after this service. I decree and declare. Let the gates be open for you. I say it again. Every nation that has rejected you. Not after this service. In the name of Jesus. Let the gates be open for you. Whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper. By prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. By prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. I shorten the distance between you and your helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow, may they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, with the grave, with the spirit of death, we severe that covenant now. Amen. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. Amen. That this remaining part of the year, you will wax valiant. Amen. You will do ministry with power. Amen. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. A mark of exemption, let it rest on your head. In the name of Jesus. If you must travel, no accident. If you are in the air, no plane crash. I decree and declare, if you must travel, let the angels go before you, clearing out wicked men from the road. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your children. You will not hear bad news. You will not hear they've joined occult groups. You will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others. In the name of Jesus, your portion in this Abuja, let it be delivered to you. Your portion in Nigeria, let it be delivered to you. Your portion across the globe, let it be delivered to you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay let me pray over your spiritual life fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving jesus with all your heart serving jesus with all your heart i declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you. I separate you from wicked people. I separate you from evil people. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg for food to eat. Let strangers be sent by God to help you. In the name of Jesus. In your place of work, good news this week. I say it again. In your place of work, good news this week. In your business, enjoy good news this week. Whatever you're waiting for, it arrives speedily. In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For someone, difficulty has come to an end. You have enjoyed progress, but with difficulty. Now step into the realm of ease over your finances may god give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places oh you will find treasures this week your eyes will see where others do not see in the name of jesus is concerning the favor of god please listen i know you will think that because you are part of a ministry with a grace for favor it is working in your life i found out that this is it's not working in the lives of many people 
and the Lord put it in my heart. This was strong while we're in Canada that on my return, we should take the time, a few minutes to pray. So we're going to pray that grace. How do you know that the favor of God is upon you? Men will show you unusual kindness. They will show you unusual acceptance. They will show you unusual access. Are you ready to pray? Shout it, say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let the grace for favor begin to speak in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. This would be a major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. A major reason. Please pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Someone pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Favor. A redefiner of possibilities. Favor. The unique edge to business. The unique edge to ministry. The favor of God. Provoked by value. Provoked by relationships. Provoked through prayer. Provoked by the anointing. Go ahead and pray. Let favor rest upon me. That if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. Let it speak redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident. Bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God, you advance with dignity. You make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. Sapa laka tepe laka parakata sekates. Lebarenta sabrenta kepe lekata. Pastor, declare favor upon your life. Favor upon your ministry. Favor upon your business. Access to kindness. Access to unusual acceptance. In the name of Jesus, unusual kindness, unusual acceptance. Pray favor over your business. In addition to your productivity, you need favor. Pray favor upon your ministry. In addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus, you need favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart. Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things. Number one, he said, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Is the second prayer I penned down while in Canada, the Lord put in my heart. Many of you do not know the mystery of calamities. Listen to my message, deliverance from calamities. You don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities. Are we together now? Mishaps, misfortune. It says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity? Head on. They are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity. Deliver us from evil. Are you ready to pray? Shout it. Say, Father, I decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling. I am delivered from trouble, from pain, from setbacks, from calamity. Go ahead and pray. Please open your mouth and pray. Calamity of any and all sorts. I'm escaped like the bird before the net. The rod of the wicked. Someone pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. 
the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked the rod of kidnappers the rod of ambrobas the rod of evil men the rod of ill ill speaking men the counsels of Ahithophel the rod of the wicked in your place of work koinonia pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous in your business endeavor deliver me from evil deliver me from the scourge of the tongue deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated those who have vowed not to rest pray deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits looking forward to your downfall looking forward to mishaps happening to you one more minute you are praying stretch that prayer to your children stretch that prayer to your spouse stretch that prayer to the works of your hands oh i escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there are people who have no business hating you, except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you. Your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain. Let me tell you the truth. It is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer. Are we together now? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. When a gatekeeper speaks evil about you, it can peg your destiny. When a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival, they can bring whispers of this of of demons and by the time you arrived from their ears their hearts have been poisoned when they look at you they say i've changed my mind my intention was to lift you my intention was to wipe your family but somebody came and told me your family is not worth helping and they recycle seasons of pain let me pray for someone anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper and without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you that is responsible for the antagonisms i'm praying for you be delivered this night be delivered this night be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of jesus please bring please. them very quickly and then and then we'll pray and then we'll pray when you have them, please bring them very quickly. The Lord is already moving. Listen, let me tell you the truth. I want you to believe, believe that God will step in and turn your life around. Hallelujah. Turn your life around. From the back, right to the center. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now. From the back, right to the center. From the back, right to the center. Please bring them out right now. Now the Lord is that spirit And where the spirit of the Lord is There is liberty There is liberty An end comes to every oppression An end comes to every oppression An end comes to every oppression An angel of the Lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road. Right now, it's like smoke just moving across 
right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes god is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the bible says now the lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm saying. By the spirit of the And listen. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ, responsible for any challenge and any predicament, it must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus jesus i cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Please bring them out quickly I'm still praying The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it. At the count of three again, you're going to shout that name. I see opening, opening doors that have been closed. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be open now. Every closed door. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors over families. Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare. Be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three. Across the road, online, be free now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One. Two, three, be free right now, be free right now, be free right now, in the name of Jesus, we blot out handwriting, we blot out handwriting, bring them out, I cut all that, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. Oh yeah yeah stay Oh yeah yeah 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 Yahweh Oh yeah yeah stay Oh yeah yeah
Hallelujah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern state. The eastern state. Right now God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state. Enugu state. Epon state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east. God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it go to Benway. Benway State. Right now I stretch my hands. Benway. Benway. That anointing you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front. There are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference. I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now. Bring them out right now by the Spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Things must change in your life. My friend, this young man, lift your hands where you are. There is oil being poured on your head right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let him go now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that way it is. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two, let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness. Every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny, be free now. All those in front here, I decree the power that holds you. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go. Leave them now. Release their destinies. Right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell, I command a restoration by the Spirit of the living God. By the Spirit of grace. The Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must leave your life, insist it must leave your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows. Arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows. 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 Right now. 
right here arrows arrows go now arrows have been removed out of people in the name of jesus madam be free right now be set free now the lord is setting someone free here right now someone in this row i'm seeing fire just resting on someone be free right now in the name of jesus everything that has held you bound be free right now be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus those outside keep praying something is resting upon you right now the lord asked me to come to overflow one i want to pray for you there is an anointing right now i stretch my hands fire from the front to the back everyone under any kind of yoke right now as i'm passing be free be free help them please out now release their destinies release their destinies now please help them whether you are an usher or not help them that yoke must let you go now that yoke must let you go now i'm passing this road right now once i pass you the anointing of the holy ghost is taking everything that is not of god release them now release their destinies now release their destinies now let that fire rest upon you right now everything that has refused to open be open now be open now be open now be open now close doors be open now be open now now listen overflow two i may not touch you but in the name of jesus i pass your role except god is not god if there is anything sitting on your destiny it must let you go right now be free be free i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire is resting on this road. Just right there. I'm seeing someone. The oppression of your family is coming to an end right now. I stand by this grace. Anyone here, anything that is not of God sitting on your destiny, right now at the count of three, all of you just, I'm seeing fire right now. And I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs. Right now, be, be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. There is a lady here. God is saying it is over. Right now, I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now. Help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, please, if anybody is falling close to you so they don't injure themselves. Hallelujah. Please shift. That lady, be free now. I'm pointing my hands to her. I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Overflow three. Pray. Pray. Overflow three. Something is about to release your destiny now. Something is about to release your destiny now. Something is about to release your destiny now. Overflow three. I came with an anointing. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Fire is falling from the top to the bottom. One, two, three. Go, go, go now. Every yoke, every altar. Be free now. Bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. Every oppression of darkness, right to the back. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be free now. Be free now. Bring them out.
I've seen all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number of 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now. Every door that has refused to open, I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 27 people here. The grace for speed is coming upon them. I don't know who you are, but right now, the grace for speed, I stand by the anointing from the front to the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive that anointing right now. Speed, I release speed over your life, over your destiny. Receive speed in the name of Jesus. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Overflow 3, hear me. There are people here, the Lord is telling me, no one rises in your family. When they get to a level, something brings them down. And the Lord is saying, I should shift you by prophecy. I stand right now, I don't know where they are, but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing the number 17. Lord, I don't know where they are here, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, move to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. Fourteen people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborah. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you. Oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 15 people here. Overflow 3. The spirit of revelation is coming on you. Unusual insight. I don't know where they are. But right now I'm seeing light. Not fire. Light. Light coming on people. 15 people. Step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace. Right now in the name of Jesus. Now Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Main auditorium, please lift your hands. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing seven people. The grace for speed. I will pray it on everybody. But the main auditorium, there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people. They will begin to run by the anointing right now. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves. Main auditorium, I stretch my hands. At the count of three, like Elijah, may that grace come. One, two, three. Receive that grace right now. In the main auditorium, step into the anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus. Overflow three, lift your hands. Every door that has refused to open over your ministry, over your life, held down by witchcraft, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I'm seeing doors open in the spirit. One, two, three, let that door be open now. Be open now. Be open now.
the Lord wants to avert death over his family. This year alone, between last year and this year, four people have died in your family. Four people have died. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an anointing is coming upon you right now. Let death be averted now in the name of Jesus. Now listen, all of you at Overflow 3 and the extension there, whatever must live your life, as I'm passing this place, please, I, I'm releasing my faith. Open your mouth now and declare, Lord, it must live my life now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pray, please. All those in front here, the spirit that ties your destiny, I command at the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. The power of God is resting on someone here. There's an anointing coming on someone right here. In the name of Jesus. There's an anointing coming on someone here. And the Lord is saying it comes to an end. That family crisis comes to an end. The power of God is resting on someone by my left here. Right now receive that anointing. Let it go in Jesus name. Be free right now in Jesus' name. The power of God is resting on someone here. Right here, I'm seeing an anointing. Right now. It's a prophetic grace. There's someone here, a prophetic grace is coming upon you. Right now, by my left here. In the name of Jesus, drink of that anointing. Drink of that fountain. May that grace rest upon your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the holy spirit look at me my friend the lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit i lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where i'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people i'm seeing the power of god like a wind just coming on them just this room right now lord where are they I stretch my hands right now. Right now. The power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over. He's taking away captivity. Four of you, by the Spirit of grace, let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a family here. Marriage does not happen in that family. But I'm seeing fire rest right now. The embargo is being broken now. The embargo is being broken. Whoever those people are, an anointing is coming on you now. For the sake of your family, that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now. It's breaking right now. In the name of Jesus, please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. There is a call of God upon your life. An anointing is coming upon you. You will be mightily used by God. Where is that person? Spirit of the living God. The hand of God just near the gate here. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. A new dimension in the spirit. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. May you step into that level in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend. Touch this gentleman for me. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands over you. I command, I'm seeing chains all over your body. I command those chains to give way now. In the name of Jesus, release him now. Let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cut those chains. I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe. Let me pray for those here. Please, all of you right here. I'm, the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence. I'm seeing snakes. And I'm seeing five people. There is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now. In the name of Jesus, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now. Five of you, right now. These spirits, my God, my God, I'm seeing something living right now. Release them now. Release, no matter how long, release them now. It is written that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the living God.
will come in from. Huh? You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, if by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the... There is, there is someone here. Hi. Academic delay over your family is breaking right now. I just... Please don't be carried away with acting this thing. I shunnedly to help full experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is. But I was scattered in this congregation. I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you are going to sense fire come up with your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the Spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray. Delay, help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. Just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. There is, that is coming upon you. It's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands. May that grace begin to work. Effectually, now. Step into that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Among all of you from here to here, the grace for speed is coming on two people. Listen. Those two people will start running now. Please hold them. Hold them so they don't enjoy themselves. That anointing right now. All across. Two pe- you can't control yourself. Hold them please. Whether you are an usher or I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight and sight. Help them, help them, please. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now. In the name of Jesus. Someone here, is it your sister, has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Who is that? Listen, where, where is she? At home. What of you? Come. How long? Who has had three miscarriages? Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court case. Court case, who is that please? Court case. Don't, make sure you don't tell, please. They want to kill you because of what? 
What did you do? What did you do? Hold on, I have to. Where are you from? Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on, let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent. Eh? Listen. When I make an altar call, run and come. Because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of God case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals. And we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people. Let me. When God locates us like this, is because he wants to help you. There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no. Where state of origin? I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital. Here. Yeah. Your mom? Come. I'm seeing lying down in Portacot. Port, uh, yes, I Portacot. You came from Portacot. Go on. I'm going to pray. For, do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. It's, as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think. I'm, just because I come outside like this to encourage you. To let you know that you must not make it. Ecclesiastes 5 verses 4 to 5 says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay in fulfilling it. He has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vow. It is better not to make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. In a world where it's easy to back out of promises, God calls us to honor our word. Whether it's commitment to family, work or relationship, let us be people of integrity who follow through on what we say. This new month of November, I want us to consider how we can be faithful in keeping the promises you've made. Maybe you've made promises to someone or even promises to God and you've not fulfilled this promise. I want us to use this new month as a an opportunity for us to fulfill those promises because God does not take pleasure. God does not like those who doesn't fulfill their promises. And I pray that as we do that, as God, we ask God to give us the grace to fulfill those promises. I pray that as we do that, we ask for the grace the Lord Almighty will give it unto us and He will bless us in Jesus' name. For the powerful message you are about to listen to from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Salman, I want us to open our hearts, our understanding. And after this video, I want us to also watch it over and over again for a better understanding. I want us not just after now, you watch this video and then you keep it aside. I want us to meditate on this word. And I want to encourage us that we we shouldn't be hearers alone, but hearers and doers of God's word. I pray that as we watch this video, we will have answers to our prayers. I pray that our eyes will be open to things that we're finding difficult to giving answers, solutions to our problems. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with someone someone somewhere someone out there needs this video don't just keep it to yourself please share with someone a friend a colleague your loved one and yes your enemies even a stranger share this video with them it's also a form of evangelism it's also a form of telling someone about god it's also a form someone somewhere might be depressed might be down might be lost in thoughts might be looking for answers and this video is something that will give them is, is, a, is an answer to their prayers please share this video share this video to as many people as you can and as you do that the lord almighty will help bless and direct you on how to go about it in jesus name for 
those are just coming across the Fleto Hub TV for the first time, we are glad to have you here. Just hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell. To all of the videos that will be posted here on Reflector Hub TV, you will be notified about them. Thank you so much. Keep your heart open and your expectations high as you watch this video. Stay blessed and thank you.